Hey, and welcome to another tutorial from Every Tuesday. Today we're going to create this retro graduation announcement from scratch. Um, you can see over here I've got everything layered out. Um, we're going to set all the type, create some of these elements. So let's get started. We're going to go to File, New, and we're going to set it as having a width of 5 inches, a height of 7 inches, a bleed of 0.125 inches, which is uh, the equivalent of 1 8th. This is set as CMYK because it's going to be printed, and we have to make sure that we're working um, with print resolution, which is 300 ppi. So if you don't see this, you just toggle down this little advanced um, arrow, and you can get to it. Okay, so everything looks good, so we're going to hit OK. So the first thing that um, I usually do is I need to establish a color palette. So for this, we're going to be using this one. Um, I'll show you the, the color builds real quick. Um, so I'm using this kind of cream color, which is um, cyan 2, yellow 15, black 1. Um, this kind of charcoal um, has cyan 18, yellow 8, um, and black 85. And then this orange is just magenta 70, yellow 83, and black 13. So we're going to create the background color. So I'm going to um, grab my rectangle tool by hitting M on my keyboard. And I'm just going to click and drag this red line that you see around my document is my bleed area. So when someone cuts the paper, you won't get any white edges. So I'm going to hit, um, this came out orange because I clicked on orange last. So if I hit my I key on my keyboard, I get my eyedropper and I can just click on that color and um, there we go. So I'm going to lock this in my layer so I don't have to keep selecting it anytime I click over here. So I'm going to actually create a new layer by clicking this icon right here. And with this selected, I can drag this little node up to change layers. And I'm just going to double click on the layer and call it background color. And I'm going to grab this whole layer and drag it below my, my layer one. And I'm going to lock it. So now no matter what, I can't select this, and it's going to stay right where it is. So the next thing we're going to do is create uh, the border elements that you saw right here. So I do this by, um, let me zoom in here, and I'm going to grab my line tool, which is, actually I'll show you right here. Um, if I hit that um, backslash key on my keyboard, I can get to it as well, and I need to be on layer one since it's unlocked. And I'm going to um, hold shift, which will give me a straight line, and I'm just going to drag to my corner. And because it doesn't have a color on it right now, I need to make sure I have my, my stroke selected. And I'm going to hit my I key again. I'm going to hold shift, and I'm going to click on this blue color. And I know that I want my stroke to have a one point weight, and then I'm going to have a rounded cap and a rounded corner. So coming back to... Um, this line, if I want it to be the same exact length on the right side, I'm just going to hold Alt, click, and drag, um, and now I have a copy. And now I'm going to right click this, transform, rotate, and I'm going to put in 90 degrees. And then I'm going to line these two up together. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, hit that backslash key on my keyboard again to grab my line tool. And I'm basically just going to freehand um, this, and I'm just going to make these come off of it. And actually, um, it's since I want this a little longer, I hit my A key on my keyboard, which is my direct select tool, and I can just click on one point and then kind of drag it out uh, until I'm, I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to fuss around with this for a second until it looks good. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so we're going to keep that. Um, so I'm going to go back to my regular selection tool, which is this arrow, and I'm just going to hit V on my keyboard to get to it. And I'm going to select all of these, and I'm going to group them by going Shift-G. So that now whenever I... whoops, it's Command-G, actually. Um, so Command-G or Control-G on a PC. And so whenever I drag this, um, they all go together at the same time. So now I need to put this corner element in my other corners. So I'm going to select this, hold Alt, and then Shift, 
well, hold Alt, start to drag, and then you can hit Shift, and this will just make sure you drag it in a straight line. Because if I'm not holding Shift, I can move it anywhere. But if I hold Shift, it drags in a straight line. So I'm going to come over here, and then I'm going to um, reflect this by going Transform, Reflect, and I want to reflect over my X axis. So um, make sure Vertical is selected right here, and hit OK. And now both of these together, I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. Hold Alt, click, drag, hold Shift, release, and now I'm going to reflect this over my Y axis. So it's going to be a horizontal reflection. Hit OK, and now we're right here. So we can uh, pull some guides in. If you hit Command R or Control R on a PC, you can get your rulers. And I'm actually just going to grab um, a guide and set it at my halfway point. So that's at two and a half since uh, my document is five inches wide. And if I come up here, um, I can decide that I'm going to go like maybe an eighth of an inch um, on the inside and an eighth from the top. So I'm just going to pull these guides over. That way, everything is um, perfectly aligned. Okay, so hitting my V key to get my selection tool again, I'm going to select both of these. If I hit Shift and click again, I've got both of these selected. So I'm going to kind of bring them down, and then I need to bring this one over. And then the same deal with the top. Let me zoom in for these. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is draw some lines between these corner elements. So I'm going to hit my backslash key again, and I'm going to click and hold shift and drag so I get a, sh a straight line. And what I usually do is I just make a shape um, and put it between these two. That way um, I can make sure that the space is the same. There we go. Okay, so now I can delete that. Um, and now I'm going to do the same thing I did before by holding Alt, drag, hold Shift. And now we've got these two. And if I hit um, Command on a Mac or Control on a PC and then hit your, your colon key, um, you can turn off your guides at any time so you can see what your whole document is looking like. So I'm going to turn these back on and I have to draw my other lines now which actually I'm going to um, redraw the shape and I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees so it's the same width over here as I was using up top. So let me make another one down here. Grab my line tool again. Hold shift so it's straight. And now I don't have any color on that. So if I just grab my eyedropper tool and I click on any of these other strokes, it's going to take on the same attributes as you can see in the stroke panel that I was using before. So now I can delete these, um, these squares, turn my guides back on, select, Alt, Shift, and then Release. And now everything is consistent. So I'm going to put all of these on their own layer too so I don't accidentally nudge any of them. So I'm going to group them by hitting Command G. And I'm going to create a new layer, drag these to that layer, call it borders, and then drag this below my working layer, which is layer one. So I'm going to lock this. So now that's all set. Um, so the next thing, um, we're just going to create some elements and then in the next tutorial I'll show you how I typeset everything. So this is just the foundation of uh, the whole uh, graduation announcement. So to save some time, I'm just going to grab this um, graduation cap and bring it in here. Make sure I'm on my live layer. So I've got my cap. And if I turn on my guides, you can see uh, it's kind of locking right to that center guide, so I know that everything's centered. 
um, in the other elements that I'm going to need, uh, you can see we've got this kind of triangular divider right here. We've got a ribbon that we need to make, and then we just need to make two longer dividers, and that'll be it for our elements. So I make the triangular divider by going to my star tool. And if you drag out your star, if you hit your down arrow button on your keyboard, you can reduce the number of points. So now I have a triangle, so I'm going to make it face the way that I wanted. I'm going to release, and now you see I've kind of got these nodes where the other points were. And if I hit my um, hyphen key on my keyboard, I get my pen tool with a little negative. So that deletes anchor points. So now we're good with that. So now if I go back to my selection tool by hitting V on my keyboard, I can kind of squish this. And I just squish until I'm kind of happy with how much weight it's got. And this one's a little bit of a smaller one. So now I've got that divider. Super easy. So I'm going to hit Alt, drag, hold Shift. And then I'm going to reflect this over my Y axis so it's a vertical reflection. So now I've got these two. And now I just need to make two more. So let me just put these in the center. OK, so I'm going to hit Alt, drag, shift, and bring these down here a little ways. So actually, I only need one of these. So I'm just going to hold my A key to grab my direct selection tool. I'm going to click on this node, and I'm going to hold shift. Whoops. I'm going to start dragging, and then I'm going to hold shift. And that looks pretty good. So drag it out the length that you want it. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Hold Alt, Shift, Transform, Reflect, Vertical again. And now we've got those elements. And now all we have left is our ribbon. So the way that I, I make a ribbon is I grab my rectangle tool by hitting M or grabbing it over here. Um, so I'm just going to freehand a rectangle. And with this selected, it actually gives you these nodes on the side. So I'm going to hover over this node, and I'm going to hit my plus. And I'm just going to click it, and then I'm going to hit V. And then um, I'm going to hit my left arrow key on my keyboard until I'm happy with um, that indention. OK, so because I want this exact same indention on the other side, I'm going to select it, hold Alt, drag, hold Shift, and then I'm going to reflect it with a vertical reflection. And then I'm just going to kind of drag it over until I'm happy with um, how long it is. And then I'm going to um, actually let's make it a little smaller. OK, so I'm going to select both of these. And if you go to your Pathfinder palette, if you don't see this, you can go to Window, Pathfinder. And I'm just going to hit this first one, which unites them. And now you'll see um, they're perfectly united. They're one shape now, but I have these extra little anchor points from when they were two uh, shapes. So I just take my, I hit my hyphen key on my keyboard to get my um, delete anchor tool, pen tool, and I just click on these extra ones and then, um, then it looks like they were only ever one shape. And I'm going to color this orange. So I'm going to hit my I key, hit my orange. All right, so this concludes uh, the first tutorial with making these elements. In the next tutorial, we'll typeset everything and put everything together and finish this up.